Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the Triangle Inequality Theorem. This topic or this video is part of our series with regards to Triangle Inequality. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, what is meant by Triangle Inequality Theorem? It states that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. So let's say for example, I have here triangle ABC and pag-usapan natin what is meant by this theorem. Let's say for example, we have here the side A, side AB plus side BC. Okay, you have here the first and second side. The sum of these two sides is greater than the measurement or the length of the third side, third side, which is AC. So let's say, for example, pag natin yung mismo theorem. What if pagsamay naman natin si BC plus AC, when you add the measurement or the length of side BC and AC, that is greater than your side AB. At last possible na combination natin is that Kapag inad naman natin yung length ni AC plus yung length ni, B, ni AB, their sum is always greater than the side BC. And now, para mas visualize nyo or maintindihan nyo ano ba yung ginawa ko rito and what is meant by triangle inequality theorem, let's assign some numbers for the measurement of side AB, side BC, and side AC. Let's say for example, your AB measures 3 units, your BC measures 4 units, and your AC measures, let's say, 5 units. So, gamit itong inequalities na ginamit ko at yung theorem natin, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. Try natin, let's try adding AB, which is equal to 3, plus your BC, which is 4, and look. When you add 3 plus 4, that is 7, definitely that is greater than 5. And another possible combination, the long side, you have BC, which is 4, plus your AC, AC, which is 5, and your AB, which is 3. And comparing 4 plus 5, we know that 9 is greater than 3. And for the last combination, about this theorem, you have AC, your AC is this one, you have 5 plus the length of your AB, which is 3, and the length of your BC, which is 4. When you compare the sum of these two sides, 5 plus 8, which is 8, we know that 8 is greater than 4. Ganun lang simple yung mismo theorem natin. And para mas maintindihan mo ito, I will give you some problems with regards to triangle inequality theorem. Let us solve some problem wherein we will apply triangle inequality theorem. And we have this, state if the three numbers can be measures of three sides of a triangle. So, ang pinakagagawin natin dito is we will test if ito bang mga measurements natin ay kaya lang makabuo ng triangle o hindi. So, we have here the measurements 2, 3, and 6. So, sabi sa ating theorem, the sum of the two sides of any triangle is always greater than the third side. So let's try the first combination. We will add the first two. 2 plus 3 is greater than 6. So we know that when we add 2 plus 3, that is 5. And 5 is not greater than 6. So this one is a false statement. False statement. So kapag na-encounter nyo na yung first combination pala ay false, automatic, ang sagot dyan ay no. Pero ipapakita pa rin natin yung iba pang combination. So, let's try the other combination. Sabihin natin, 3 plus 6. So, 3 plus 6. And then, this one is greater than 2. Kapag inad natin si 3 plus 6, this one is equal to 9. And we know that 9 is greater than 2. This is a true statement. Okay? And for the last combination, we have 2 plus 6 is greater than 3. 
2 plus 6 is greater than 3. Alam naman natin that the sum of this is 8 and greater than 3. Ang 8 natin is greater than 3. Therefore, this one is a true statement. But, ang sabi that always great, the sum of the two sides is always greater than the third side. So, kung meron kang false statement, automatic, ang sabot natin dito ay no. Hindi hindi siya makakabuod ng triangle. So, let's move on with the second example. We have 4, 5, and 7. Na test natin if this one or this set of measurements can really form a triangle. For the first combination, we have 4 plus 5 is greater than 7. I check natin. 4 plus 5 is 9. And 9 is greater than 7. Therefore, this one is a true statement. And for the second combination, 4 plus 7 is greater than 5. 4 plus 7 is 11. And we know that 11 is greater than 5. So this one is also a true statement. And for the last combination, we have 4, sorry, 5 plus 7. And this is 4. Alam naman natin that 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. And that one is greater than 4. So this one is also a true statement. If ang nangyari, lahat ng combination mo ay true, na the sum of the two sides of any triangle is greater than the third side, this set of measurements, 4, 5, and 7, is a yes. Ang ibig sabihin ng yes natin, they can form a triangle. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung examples natin at yung, def, yung mismo theorem natin. And sana, if na-appreciate niyo yung video natin, you can like this video and consider subscribing to it. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!